A dorsal wedge tarsectomy is performed here through a medial longitudinal incision to include a Jones procedure. The anterior tibial tendon is identified first. It is dissected and mobilized in order to access the midfoot. Identification of the neighboring talonavicular joint is mandatory, although it may be performed with a fluoro. Capsulotomy of the navicular cuneiform joint is performed. The subperiosteal plane is continued across the dorsal midfoot using a combination of sharp dissection and blunt stripping using a large round shaped periosteal elevator. A K-wire is passed along the joint and helps locating the lateral approach and avoids breaking into the calcaneo-cuboid joint. The dorsal wedged resection of the articular surfaces is performed on the medial side along the K-wire. The dorsal soft tissues need to be held back, away from the blade during sawing. The lateral approach is centered on the protruding K-wire. The cuboid is identified and the extensor digitorum brevis is retracted dorsally. This position along the medial tarsectomy. A wedge resection of the cuboid is performed, aligned on that K wire positioned along the medial tarsectomy. The dorsal wedge resection is completed by pushing on the plantar aspect of the foot. A K-wire stabilizes the lateral column. Lateral fixation is performed with a peanut perilock plate locked on the cuboid. A medial fixation is performed with a perilock utility plate in order to stabilize both the flexion and the pronation forces opposed by the osteotomy. Care should be taken when drilling the holes for screws to avoid the neighboring joints. And dorsal bone edges of the tarsectomy should be trimmed in order not to impinge on the dorsal soft tissue of the foot.